next evaluation I have for the shoulder is going to be a scapular Y view, um, also known as the uh, PA oblique projection. Here we're going to have the central ray enter perpendicular to the, the scapulohumeral joint. Um, collimation should adjust to 12 inches in length and one inch from the lateral shadow. Um, and then here we're going to have, we're going to need evidence of proper collimation for evaluation criteria, along with the humeral head and glenoid cavity being superimposed. Um, and then next we need to make sure that the humeral shaft and scapular body are superimposed, which it is right here. Um, and then also that there is no superimposition of the scapular body over the bony thorax, um, that the acromion is projected laterally and free of superimposition, which is it up here. Um, and then that the coracoid possibly superimposed or projected below um, the cap, the clavicle, which it is over there. And then um, scapula and lateral profile uh, with lateral and vertebral borders superimposed, which it is, and that the soft tissues and bony tra uh, trabecular detail is um, there, which of course, it is all right here. So, uh, this is the evaluation criteria again for the scapular Y view. Um, it's a PA oblique projection. And, yep, that's it.